The All-American Qualifiers, presented by champion Tempting Dash, sire of Golden State Derby winner Ain't She Tempting and other stakes runners, and by multiple grade one finalist Hawkeye, both standing at Granada Farm. Second fastest, Impressum. No horse has been more impressive this year than the aptly named Impressum. He has already won three derbies, two in Ruidoso. His wins include the rainbow over his champion stablemate. Impressum, Dolce Sintacha, a battle for pride of the barn. Impressum, Impressum, his class will come through. You know, he amazes me that he's, he's done it on several different conditions as well. Uh, you know, he really, really, he's caught fast tracks, cuppy tracks, slick tracks, water track, inside, outside. Uh, you know, he's, he's just really, really been impressive. The next challenge was an All-American Derby trial on a rainy Sunday. They're running. Yeah, there's a fast break for Tall Timbers and Cyber Monday, then Impressum, and then Strange Fellow. And drifting out is Tall Timbers right alongside Impressum now. Then we go to Cyber Monday and Garter to Cash. Impressum has taken the lead, and there goes the Impressum. Impressum's rock getting away to another easy win. That's seven straight for Impressum and Jockey Rodrigo Vallejo. The rider qualified all three of Heath Taylor's finalists. Jeff Jones and Steve Holt make up the partnership that bred and owned the nation's leading three-year-old. Heath Taylor took over training this year and they have never looked back. Now Impressum can make some history of his own. He could become just the fourth winner of all three Ruidoso Derbies since 1975. He seems like he just he runs runs along there really solid and really good and and really heads up with them about 200 220 yards and some of the past races he just seems like the last 150 yards just mashes on the accelerator and, and just goes on and has a has an extra gear so far. Never before have both a two-year-old and a three-year-old gone for a Rudosa triple in the same year. Tune in to the Cowboy Channel on Labor Day for complete coverage of All American Weekend.